Georgia's Golden Isles. The name is fitting. Explorers once seeking great wealth and riches stumbled upon a different treasure. Islands with bronzed sand, shimmering waters, and golden sunlight. While there was no actual gold to be had, the name, the Golden Islands, was given to this sun-soaked golden paradise. Welcome to Georgia's Golden Isles, Located on the eastern coast of Georgia, this area is made up of the mainland historic town of Brunswick and four barrier islands, St. Simons Island, Sea Island, Jekyll Island, and Little St. Simons Island. Here are a few ways to spend your time during your visit to the treasured Golden Isles. Let's start with St. Simons Island. Travel and Leisure magazine voted St. Simons Island in 2014 America's number one favorite romantic town and America's number one favorite beach town. And in 2019, it was ranked by Con Nast as the third best U.S. island. St. Simons is friendly, full of coastal charm, and is absolutely beautiful. It's the largest of the Golden Isles and offers activities, history, and of course, gorgeous views and places to relax. There are over 20 miles of paved bike paths, which can take you to all of the sites. Gould's Inlet and the East Beach are two of the most popular beaches, offering a great place for a walk along the shore or an afternoon to soak up some sun. St. Simon's Lighthouse Museum is only one of five surviving light towers in the state of Georgia, and it's been restored with its original Fresnel lens. The working lighthouse is open to the public, where you can climb the 129 steps all the way to the top, or walk through the keeper's quarters where the museum is set up. As you spend time on the island, you might spot a tree with a carved whimsical face, or make it an adventure and try to find all 20 of them. In the 1980s, artist Keith Jennings, inspired by local sailor lore and mythology, hand-carved faces into oak trees. They are called the St. Simon's Island Tree Spirits, and there's a map of their locations in the Golden Isles Welcome Center. Speaking of trees, one of the most iconic and photographed images on the island is the Avenue of the Oaks at the entrance of the Sea Island Golf Club. Cannons Point Preserve is a 600-acre public green space that has miles of marsh attached to the Ultimaha River Delta, maritime forests, and native species. There's been artifacts found here that date back to 2500 BC. And there's some neat historical places to check out too. The World War II Homefront Museum highlights the island's history as the Coast Guard station during World War II. Christ Church, Frederica, is the place where John Wesley of England helped found the Methodist Church. The original church was damaged in the Civil War, but the current building, built in 1884, is open for tours. You can also see the Fort Frederica National Monument, established in 1736 by James Oglethorpe. It's protected by the National Park Service. There are lots of good places to eat here, from seafood at Iguana Seafood, to Southern Fair from the likes of Palmer's Village Cafe or Porch, to Southern Soul Barbecue, named one of the best barbecue restaurants in the country. Hop on the causeway and you can visit the internationally acclaimed resort of Sea Island. Sea Island is the only resort in the world to receive four Forbes Five Stars for 13 years in a row. Sea Island has two Forbes Five Stars, The Lodge at Sea Island and Cloister on Sea Island. There are also three championship golf courses at Sea Island Golf Club. 
Activities on the island include kayaking or boating in the marshes, taking a nature walk, or horseback riding along the beach. Jekyll Island is the southernmost of the Golden Isles and has a rich history. It was used as an outpost to protect Fort Frederica on St. Simon's Island and housed large plantations until the end of the Civil War. It was purchased by wealthy families like the Rockefellers, Morgans, Cranes, and Goulds. This Jekyll Island Club with these families once represented a sixth of the world's wealth. The state of Georgia purchased the island in 1947. Check out the Jekyll Island National Historic Landmark District and Island Museum, where you can really learn about the interesting history of this island. In fact, this area has received many awards for their restoration projects and efforts. If you like shelling, this is a great place to explore. Both St. Andrews Beach and Driftwood Beach offer prime spots to shell. Driftwood Beach is also a photographer's dream destination. The beach is covered with driftwood, making it a spectacular place to explore and take photographs. But be aware that this beach is dependent on the tides, so make sure to plan your visit when the tide is low. Head over to Georgia's first sea turtle rehab, research, and educational facility at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center. You can learn all about the lives of turtles and see the hospital where care is given to injured and sick ones. Jekyll Island also has 25 miles of paved biking trails, dolphin tours, horseback riding along the beach, summer waves water park, and 63 holes of golf. End your day with some low country cuisine at Beach House, where you can enjoy some shrimp and grits or an andouille crusted sea trout. The mainland port city of Brunswick is also part of the Golden Isles. The city is laid out similarly to Savannah, with colonial named streets and squares. The wharf is filled with shrimp boats, and you can even go out on one. The Lady Jane is the only shrimp vessel on the East Coast that is U.S. Coast Guard certified to hold 49 passengers. Signature Squares of Brunswick offers restored green spaces which predate the Revolutionary War that are fun to stroll through. George Washington actually named Brunswick as one of the five original ports of entry for the 13 colonies. The Mary Ross Waterfront Park is a lovely place to spend some time relaxing, enjoy the outdoor musical playscape, catch the farmer's market, or check out the scale model of a Liberty ship, similar to what was built here during World War II. Or just watch the ships and watch the sunset over the marshes. And finally, accessible only by boat, is Little Simons Island. This privately owned paradise has seven miles of beaches and 11,000 acres of wilderness. The lodge on Little St. Simons is an exceptional place to stay. They can accommodate up to 32 guests, making it a great place for a reunion or a group of friends. There are more than 334 species of birds on this little island, making it an excellent place to bird watch while you explore. The Golden Isles are a place to visit if you love to explore nature, enjoy the water, and relish learning about history. Georgia's Golden Isles are indeed a treasure. Thanks for watching, Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.